Kritika Online has recently had a new class added to the game in the form of the Blader, so the developers reached out to me and provided me with an endgame account to not only check out the new class, but to also take a peek at some higher level content that I haven't experienced before. Kritika Online, for those of you that have never played before, is a hyper fast anime RPG MMO light that features what's probably some of the most crazy action combat in the MMO genre. Seriously, this game makes me feel old because my reactions are too slow to play this game at a high level. You adventure through an instanced world, take quests and progress through increasingly difficult missions as you level up and upgrade your gear through different tiers. The game has both a mixture of PvP and PvE content, it's free to play on Steam and as of making this video has 10 different base classes to choose from. This video is sponsored by Kritika Online so if you like what you see then click the link in the description below and give it a try. Here she is, the blader, looking good. Giant sword on my back, oversized coat. Let's go kill some monsters. This is my gear, I'm pretty sure it's good. First thing I should do is upgrade and make sure I've got all my abilities, I guess. Let's go somewhere and check out these abilities. This here is just my normal left click. I can obviously jump attack in the air. This is my Q ability. E. C. Zero ability. Oh. Okay, she's an angry lady. Here's another cool one. Very nice, very flashy class. Let's try this one. Okay, please cut more. This woman just likes to slice and dice. Number five. Jumps in the air and cuts everything. This seems to be my ulti. It puts you for a really long cutscene. That one has a three minute cooldown. Number eight ability, just dash forward. I'm glad I checked out these abilities because I'm going to rebind some stuff now. The abilities that appear on your hotbar in red seem to be the ones that you combo with your right click. So I hold right click and I can press one, I can press two, I can press three, and I can press four. Never mind, number four is a standalone ability. Figured out what most abilities do, so let's just slash this guy up for a bit. Look at that. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Pop the ulti. Go for a pretty long cutscene. Nice boob shot right there. I don't know if I've got the reactions needed to tame this class. Let's do a mission, level 64 to 65. This is my first time getting to experience Kritika endgame content. So... We'll see how it goes. Oh my god, I'm one-tapping everything. This is the boss, is it? I'm gonna go one-tap him. Here we go. Sit. Just walk up to- Oh, you hit me. Well done. Okay, we'll just kill him in one ability anyway. Okay, we need to find some level 70 content to tackle. This here seems like harder content. So this mission's the spooky forest, is it? Okay, we're not actually killing these things completely in one hit. Go explore some different zones. I know this is level 70 content. Okay, these things, oh my god, actually hurt a lot. These things really hurt. God, I'm hardly damaging these things. My ulti took one health bar away. Okay, this is actually really hard now. I've got no health. Oh, we're dead. Let's try this one. Right, let's see if these are too hard for me. Yeah, I'm doing no damage to these monsters. I think you need insane gear for this content. I can do this. I don't know what this is. This actually seems about right. But well, I've finally found the appropriate level of content for me. Oh my god. So in the later levels of Critica Online, a lot of the... Ouch. A lot of the levels have like mini bosses, it seems. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually really hard. I feel like I'm PvPing against an NPC. And I'm dead. I'll just ulti him and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, that did a lot of damage. Oh, what the f Oh my god, this this mini boss is a bloody beast! Well, we killed him, but he killed me. I don't know if I have the reaction time for this. That was only a little mini boss as well, it wasn't even a main boss. Press Oh my god, I'm just stunned. I'm just, I'm just stunned. I can press tab and do some big damage, hopefully. The endgame bosses in this game 
feel like PvP. I have never experienced solo PvE content this difficult in an MMO before. Big damage! Come on! Oh, we got him! Oh my god. I got a B. I'm surprised I even got a B. I died so many times. So here just seems to be your standard level 70 content. So this is a rat dungeon, is it? Alright, let's see if we can get a little bit better at the game. I'm trying to suck a little bit less. I feel confident enough with this one to play without the UI. Really cool class. I think the skill cap on this one's really high. Now it's boss time. Let's see if we can kill this rat without the UI. Ooh, okay, we can. Nice little arrogant pose at the end. Finally, I've got double S on something. Looks like we're about to walk into a spider's nest. We're fighting our way towards the Eye of Sauron. This is a cool boss arena. Siren type monster. Okay, she's gone invisible. Where's she at? It's like we've gone through some kind of ghostly memory or something. Okay, we're back. Back to fight the boss again. She ran off again. Look at this combat arena. <laughs> There's like distorted clocks and weird trippy uh, time related stuff in the environment. Very cool. Oh, now we go through the boss portal. Now she's ready to fight, is she? We made short work of her. <laughs> I've unlocked the more difficult version of this now. Slowly learning how this class works. What you want to do is round up a bunch of mobs. You want to press the sucky ability that sucks them all in and then kind of AOE them down. So I've jumped on over to the English version of Critica to check out the early levels of the blader and it seems as though they've actually reworked the character selection UI. It displays the information of all the different class changes a lot more clearly compared to what it did the last time I played the game so that's nice. So this is the blader. At level 15 she can become a blade dancer. And stats wise as you can see she's one of the more difficult classes. Decent survivability but a lot of combat power. Hour. Big anime hair. We'll call her Beta. There's currently an event on where you can reserve a reward for getting to level 70. I wonder what that reward is. So right off the bat we start with four abilities. I appreciate that. Game wants to teach me some combos. For me playing this class it's actually better that I start out on a level 1 character. It was a little bit overwhelming just jumping into a level 70 right off the bat. Right off the bat I've got access to three dashes on this class. My shift dash and I've got this ability and this ability. They're both on really short cooldowns as well, so mobility-wise, this class has insane mobility. I've lost count how many times I've gone through this intro section over the years. Stage completo. Oh, and now everyone's zoning in. Everyone in the starting area is a blader right now. Some have gone for pink attire, some for blue. This one's edgy and wants to go with the black look. I'm down for a bit of roleplay. Always got time for a bit of roleplay. Making friends already. Sit with me. Sit. Feels bad, man. Oh, I'm gonna stand here. We're all standing in a line perfectly together. Is this good for the thumbnail? We're getting flexed on by someone who's bought an outfit right off the bat. An outfit and a pig. I look a bit basic standing next to this chick. Oh, we've found the only player in the game that's playing something other than a blader right now. Does everyone just come to this zone to roleplay and flex their outfits? Don't mind the camera angle. This is a good part of this class's appeal. Oh, big combos. Nice. Okay, that was pretty cool. Sit. Very stylish. A lot of people play Critica as a bit of a waifu dress-up simulator, so let's check out the costumes for this new class, shall we? Okay. 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 Oh, wow. Bloody hell. Let's just go for this full chain outfit. I want to see what it looks like. More spikes and more chains. Or this massive coat. I can also mix a tail in with this outfit as well if I want. Because why not? Well, there it is. The blader. I'm sure you weebs are going to have fun with it. So, enjoy. 